What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Rudy Patootie here, bringing you guys another video. Today, I didn't even think about it, I didn't put the rental team code. If I remember, I'll put it there in post, the code at the bottom. But if I don't remember to, my last Pokemon video, I have, this is the same team with that same rental code. If you wanted to use this team, but how are you guys doing today? We are currently in Great Ball Tier 9. Okay. Okay, here we go. Wow, he has like three supportish Pokemon there. Grimmsnarl, Wismacot, and Togekiss. They're all kind of like supporty. I mean, Togekiss can do work. It doesn't learn. I know it learns some kind of fire move. I think Flamethrower is what it is. But I am going to roll with Grimmsnarl. Ah, uh, but if they Wismacot and Tailwind, that would hurt. So do I want... Maybe, I'm gonna do, maybe I will do this. Do Wimsicott and Grimstone. I'll do Grimstone on the back. Normally, I don't like doing that, but I'm going to today. And then we can bring... We don't need Dragapult. We'll bring... Rotom for show to lead. And then we'll have Grimstone on the back with... Who do I want to be the final hoorah? Corviknight? Because what's Corviknight's only threat? That Togekiss possibly learning a flame move, and then Duraldon can learn Thunderbolt. I don't know. I don't even remember what that monkey's name is. As soon as I see it, I'll remember it. I'm going to go with Corviknight, I think, in the back. And I think I'm going to Dynamax the Corviknight. Let's see. Let us see here, guys. Hopefully, I know I've said this before, but hopefully, am I recording? Yeah. Hopefully, Cody and I can start soon, start some series. If not, I've been actually thinking about doing, like, a Nuzlocke series on a previous uh, Pokemon game. Just uh, kind of mix things up a little bit. Maybe help me learn more. Okay, so he's he's bringing the Grim Snarl, so he's going for some Thunder Waves, I would imagine. I'm gonna go for the Tailwind here, for show. Sure. Oh, it's freaking another language, so I can't even tell. We're gonna go. What is that? That's against him. What typing is he? I didn't even check. He's fighting type. Ooh, fighting type, huh? So we're gonna do Tailwind for Sheezy. And then we are going to, because of that, I'm going to go first. So I'm going to Trick Room the Grim Snarl. Because the Grim Snarl is probably going to use Reflect. And if I can trick him into using Reflect over and over again. Oh, he's going to be Prankster though. So he's going to go second. So actually, I'm not even going to Trick Room at all. I'm just going to, I'm going to Thunderbolt. We'll Thunderbolt. Let's see what that does for us. I was going to, I wanted to trick the Grim Snarl. Oh, fake out. Wow, dude, what a jerk move. Wait, how did... How did his fake out go before my tailwind? Oh, I live. Thank you. I can't believe that, that he actually went first. I've never seen Winsmacott get outsped by Grimmy. Grimmy boy. What's this? Does Thunderbolt have a chance... It may leave with paralysis. I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna Thunderbolt the Grim Snarl this time, just because it didn't do that much damage, and maybe it'll paralyze him. Because I can't Thunder Wave the Grim Snarl with my Grim Snarl. So that's what I'm gonna go for this time. It sucks if my Wizard Cat's gonna go down this turn. Oh, he's gonna light screen, of course. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't put on a hoodie today. Today I'm just rocking the t shirt because it is just way too hot. Ooh, the rock slide. Rotom live, thank you. Oh, man, this game is looking rough right here. That fake out turn one kind of really hurt my feelings. So I don't really want to bring my own. What has he done so far? He just... I feel like... Oh, wait a minute. Does Rock beat Steel? Where is Steel at? No, Rock is not good against Steel. So what we're going to do, he's a fighting type, so he can't do anything really. I'm going to bulk up here. And then next round, actually what I'm going to do instead is, no, I'm going to bulk up. I'm going to bulk up. Bulk up, Thunderbolt, the Grim Snarl again. Hopefully I can get a Paralyze off of it, because that's the only time I'm, that's the only chance I have of actually getting a Paralyze. Reflect, of course, which is fine. Thunderbolt, that's the only chance I have of getting paralyzed on him because I cannot Thunder Wave his Grim Snarl. No, I'm not going to do it. So my bulk up goes. And now next round I can max Airstream. 
which will make me go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Now I get Grim Snarling. Actually, I don't feel too bad about this. As bad as this looks, because I'm down to a 2v, 2v4, I feel like this is good, because Corviknight is now bulked up at least once. I know that he has Reflect Up, of course, which is annoying. But now I'm going to Thunder Wave his monkey, which I, once again, can I remember its name, because I'm a terrible Pokemon player, and I don't care about your feelings. So, we are now going to Dynamax, and then he is a Fighting type, so we're going to Airstream, and that will also get us our Speed Boost, because how many more turns of... We still have two more rounds of Tailwind, so good. So we can get all Speed Boosted up, and then we're also going to Thunder Wave it. Just Actually, do we even need to Thunder Wave it? I don't think we even do. I think we'll just Reflect instead. Yeah, we'll just Reflect instead. We don't even need to Thunder Wave it, because I go first. Okay, he withdrew. Probably thought I was going to play rough. So he's going to go to Duraludon. Now. Oh, if he thought I was going to play rough, Duraludon. Really... Oh, okay, he didn't think I was going to play rough. He just wanted uh, He's going to max lightning me next round, right? With that, his Duraludon. That's kind of scary because his Duraludon's probably choice scarfed. Ooh, this is actually really scary. But I can light, light screen with my Grimmsnarl next round. Well, that's really scary with that Duraludon. Oh, man, that's super scary, actually. Okay, I go first before the monkey, right? And I should be able to knock it out with the max airstream. Okay, I should be able to knock him out with this because I'm bulked up and this is a Dynamax move. So he's going to get a free swap in with that. Which is fine, though. I don't want him to keep rock sliding us. So my only hope here on this Duraludon is with a Tailwind and a max airstream that we both go first. And I can just double up into this Duraludon slot. That's my only hope here, because he's going to Thunder Wave my Corviknight, or T-Bolt my Corviknight. For sure, he's going to T-Bolt my Corviknight. And I can't max guard this turn, because he will, then I'll be at a Tailwind. So max Steel Spike goes to there. I don't want to hit the Grim Snarl though, although the Grim Snarl is more likely just going to Thunder Wave me, right? So I think I am going to max guard because I think that they're going to double up into my Corviknight slot. And I don't really care about the tail one that bad. And then I will just light screen this round and then play rough next round. I think that's the better move. Because I know he's going to Dynamax his Duraludon. He's going to max lightning into my Corviknight slot here. And then he'll probably also go for a Thunder Wave into my Corviknight slot as well with his Grim Snarl. Would be my guess. So if I just... Max guard there, and he doubles into that slot. That's really, that looks really good for me. So I can get a light screen off here. So max guard. Let's see what he does. He fakes out my Grim Snarl. I don't understand why his Grim Snarl gets to keep going first. That's like super annoying. Like, why does his Grim Snarl get to keep going first? Your Grim Snarl is not worthy. So you know, I'm gonna do this round instead of the light screen. I'm going to go for the full just hopes and dreams. And I'm going to max Steel Spike his Grim Snarl just to try to take him out. And then I'm going to Thunder Wave their Duraludon and hope he gets full parried. That's my big hopes right here. So I hope he gets full parried. That would be super clutch because that would be two rounds of Dynamax wasted. Who goes first? So I go first right now. Please not. Oh, yeah, that's going to knock him out. So now he doesn't get any more Prankster moves. So this is actually looking kind of good right here. Hopefully, I really, really hope. Because only my defense throws, not my special defense. Please, I hope he gets full parried. That is going to come in so clutch if he gets full. No. Okay, I should still live this. Yeah. Oh, good. I definitely still live that. Good. 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 But next round, he has electric terrain up. So that is super scary. Oh, he's life orbs. He's life orbs and he barely did that much damage on me? That's actually, I mean, I guess he did half, but still. That's a special attack move, right? Max Lightning isn't physical, is it? Okay, this is looking way better for me. Okay, now that, Togekiss, is definitely scary. And the fact that I'm not Dynamax anymore is also quite scary. So, do we just go for the Iron Head on to you? And then do we probably Light Screen? I think that's the play, because if I Iron Head the Togekiss, I should still go first, right, with my Max Airstream boost. I should outspeed you. And even if you follow, I mean, if you follow me, I guess it doesn't matter that much, because I'm going for you anyway. 
And then the Grimstar is going for Light Screen. So if you go for Follow Me, I really don't care. And that's the only move I believe you have with priority. But you could go for Flamethrower, which would be quite annoying. So I just need this Iron Head to go first. I need it to knock out you. And I need Duraludon to get full paired. Okay, so I do go first. Not even close to knocking out. Wow, not even yellow. Please flinch. Though, that's the thing. So I do have a chance of flinching. What was that? Weakness policy? Wow, please flinch. No, you didn't flinch. Oh my goodness, now Max Line is going to come out and I get hit. Dude, I didn't get any, any odds this game. Nothing went in my favor. I didn't get any paras. I didn't get a flinch on the Iron Head. Oh, yikes, dude. That's the problem with bringing Grimmsnarl and Whimsicott is I just have two support-ish mo mods. And he faked it. That's another thing. How did this Grimmsnarl outspeed me twice? What do I do here? I guess I just go for the Thunder Wave on the Togekiss, especially because he's probably going to follow me anyway. And I just can, I'm just going to hope that they just both keep getting paired. I mean, that's pretty much my only hope, right? I still feel like I can maybe... No, see, like, he's not even getting paired at all. Okay, will you get paired at least, Togekiss? Literally, no. He didn't get paired a single time. He didn't get paired a single time. Okay, we're going to do two battles. Because I'm going to show this as my mistake video. Uh, and I'm going to do another battle. I'm going to skip to it right now. Found another match here. Let's hop right into it. Okay. what? This seems kind of like a, a slower team, right? Ferrothorn's slow. I've seen... Uh, what's that, Rhyperior? I've seen him on some slow teams. But I don't think this is a Trick Room team. Is it? I don't think it is. But I could be wrong. I don't see any like of the common Trick Room setters. This could just be like a bulky team. Team looks pretty bulky. So we're going to bring... I don't want to bring Dragapult again because they have the Fairy. The Fairy hurts and then the Dark hurts. I don't want to bring Dragapult at all. What I do want to bring... Ooh. Winsmacot gets pretty beat up too. So I'm going to bring Grimmsnarl as my support lead. And then I'm going to bring... Rotom Heat. My main man's Rotom Heat. Gastrodon, I'm thinking. And then... What are my options here? Between Corviknight and Dragapult, right? So more likely Corviknight. Dang, dude. Corviknight, huh? Gastrodon, I feel like it's going to be a big, big clutch here. I'm going to go for the Corviknight. That way, because then I'll have steel moves. I feel like this is a pretty, pretty good setup against what I'm seeing right now. I feel like the Gastro is going to do me a lot of work. But I love bringing Grimmsnarl to set up screens and that Thunder Wave. This Prankster ability is very, very nice. RK9 and Togekiss. Okay. So do we... Intimidate, huh? I don't really care about your Intimidate. I'm a special attacker. Well, Crimson is a regular attacker, but whatever. He... So... RK9 is usually a physical attacker, right? Is it possible to set him up to be up? No, because even... No, Togekiss kind of does both. Because doesn't he have Air Slash or Flame... Like thrower or heat wave, I think I want to go for the reflect here. I don't know, do I or do I want to thunder wave first? I think I want to reflect first. Either reflect first or thunder wave the toga kiss, and then I can volt switch the toga kiss. Actually, I'll just regular thunder the toga kiss. I'll do that. We'll reflect and then we'll render regular thunderbolt. I don't want to volt switch just yet. The only thing that would suck is if you brought in Rhyperior, which he's not going to do. Okay, so Reflect. And I get my Thunderbolt off. That's going to be big damage. Hopefully Para, maybe not though. More than likely not. All right, Snarl. Okay, Snarl kind of scares me a little bit. Because that's not lower my special defense. Or my special attack, my special attack. Okay, it's not as scary. Though. I mean, it sucks, but it's not as scary. And then just a Dazzling Gleam? I feel like he didn't really go for anything too fancy here. Okay, well now I know I'm just going to go for the light screen this round. And then do I just... Is, is he going to let me Thunderbolt that Togekiss slot again? I feel like that's the only common sense thing here to do. But, but is he gonna just going to sack the Togekiss like that? 
feel like the Dazzling Gleam on the Togekiss there was not his best move. Okay, please don't go into... Right here, Jellicent. Okay. So definitely got the light screen up and the Reflect up now. Looking good. This is actually my first time fighting against a Jellicent. Para? Why does he keep going up? Because that's a Flying Fairy, right? That has to go into Grimmsnarl. But Grimmsnarl still lives because Reflect, dude. Reflect is nasty. Okay, so you're Life Dwarf Arcanine. And you are a... I thought you were a fairy flying based off of looking at that. I told you I've never followed these. Water ghosts? How fast is that thing? I'm going to th I'm gonna Thunder Wave it to make sure it doesn't go before me just in case. And then I'm just going to T-Bolt it again. Dude, that... How many people... Raise your hand in the comment section if you thought I was really dumb for thinking that thing was fairy flying. I mean, it looks like it's flying. It looks like it's fairy because it's pink, but now that I remember it, I've actually seen blue ones. Blue jealousies. Awesome! Excuse me. Is that... Who oh, doesn't knock it out? That's scary. You're just going to Flutter Blitz. That does nothing. I live. Oh, I live. Oh, I don't live. I was kind of hoping to live. I thought if I just said it enough, I would live. So what do you do? Giga Drain? Maybe he tried to g Giga Drain the Grim Snarl. What a weird move. You don't have a water move? So I'm going to do... Well, actually, I don't want to do Gastro anymore because of his Giga Drain. But I also don't want Corviknight to get bopped by this. I have to go on the Gastro, even though I do not want to get Giga Drained at all here. But I go first. I go first before that Jellicent. So I can knock it out with a T-Bolt, and then I can Scald into the RK9 slot. I think that's the play, right? So we're going to... Or do we want Earth Power into the RK9 slot, right? Because it also could lower its special attack. But this could leave a burn. I don't want to Earth Power, though, because he could switch it to Rhyperior, which I think would not do much damage. And then I'm going to go for the Scald. And then I know what the other Pokemon is that I'm thinking of, but I can't think of the name because I suck at Pokemon. The Flying Dark-type Pokemon, or it looks like a Dark-type Ferrothorn. Okay. That's a good play, actually, moving, moving to the Ferrothorn. So you're just going to Snarl again to lower my special attack. Good play there. But hopefully I burn you with this Scald. If I can burn you with the Scald, I'm going to switch now Gastrodon right here. Burn, please. Oh. Oh, you ate a berry? You dirty dog, you. See, here's the thing. I can't switch Corviknight. Because Corviknight is just going to get hit. Well, actually, what is he? He's been snarling. He hasn't even been doing anything. I feel like I just switch to Corviknight here in that slot because he's going to go for like a power whip or something. And then I go for. Over. Max Flare into the Ferrothorn, right? Oh, but I, I'm like. My special attack has been lowered. It hasn't. Oop, wrong thing. I mean, I'm down two special attacks. What I'm going to do actually. Is I'm going to recover on Gastrodon, just in case I get power whipped, and then I'm going to switch to Corviknight on here. That way I can switch back to Rotom later, and he'll have his full special attack, and I can, G or I can Dynamax it. That's going to be my play. That's the play, actually. Because then if Arcanine just snarls again, I can, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Earlier I was thinking he was Life Orb, but didn't, wasn't, didn't he just take damage because of the Flare Blitz? Because he didn't take damage after that snarl, did he? We're going to confirm it right here. Mirror armor. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he's not life orbs. What is he? Oh, he gyroballed me instead of... What? Why would you gyroball me instead of going for a power whip or a leech seed? Who am I playing against? Did he think I was going to switch into something? And I'm, I have Iron Ball as an item on my Gastrodon, so Gyro Ball literally does nothing to me. Wow, this is a weird game. This honestly is one of the weirdest games I've ever been a part of. I feel like at this point, I'm just going to Scald the Arcanine. Literally, this is one of the weirdest games I've ever been a part of. And then I'm just going to bulk up. But he could, he could go for a Fire Charge on me. Maybe I Roost here. 
I think I go for a roost here just in case he goes for a fire uh, extreme or whatever it's called flare blitz. Oh, I kind of want to roost. I'm going to roost to play the safe game. I'm here for the long game, guys. I'm here for the long game. I'm not losing this game. I'm going to play this for the win. So I'm going to roost because I'm assuming he's going to use a fire move on me. And then I'll scald into that RK9. Yeah, Flare Blitz. There it is. Roost was, roost was the play for sure. Roost was the play. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. And then RK9, our Gastrodon is going to scald into that RK9 slot. Oh, my goodness. That was the play. So that time you did lead seed. Once again, I don't know why you're lead seeding, though, instead of just power whipping me. But you do you, boo. Yes. The skull does take him out. Let's go, dude. Thank you. Thank you, crit. Holy crit. Thank you. I feel like I needed the crit there because then it hasn't my gastro been snarled at least once, maybe twice. Leech Seed, I literally don't care. I don't know what this guy's doing with his Ferrothorn. I really don't know what he's doing. But I'm going to switch out gastro for Rotom Heat this round. Like, what is this fella doing? Jellicent. Oh, see, now I don't want to switch out Rotom Heat because he has Jellicent. Well, here's the deal. Who goes first, my Corviknight or his Jellicent? What comes first, the chicken or the egg? I think uh, I think I still switch because I don't think he's going to scald. If he, like, water any type of water moves into the Gastrodon, that's dumb because I have Storm Drain. So we're going to Rotom switch, and then we are going to just Brave Verb the Jellicent. And hope that I go first and knock it out anyway. Just in case it does do a water move, it literally won't even matter. But now my Gastronaut is going to live against this Ferrothorn, who, which so far hasn't even done anything worthwhile at all. I feel like I don't, I really don't know what this guy is doing. Okay, that does knock out. Beautiful. Thank you, Brave Bird. Thank you, Corviknight. Now, what, do, what do we got going on here? Leech Seed again. Is this guy going for that much of a long game? Like... I guess that's Ferrothorn's job, but is it worth? Whatever. I'm just going to max Flare into the Ferrothorn slot. And then what's your last Mon? I don't think we... Have we seen the last Mon? I don't think we have. We've seen Arcanine. We've seen Jellicent. We've seen... Yeah, we did see Togekiss. I'm so bad at this game. I literally remember nothing. So we're going to max Flare into the Ferrothorn slot. And then we are going to... Actually, which one's more of a threat? Togekiss or Ferrothorn? I'd say probably Togekiss is because it's actually doing damage. And it probably knows Heat Wave to hurt my Corviknight, right? So I guess we should probably max Lightning. The Togekiss. Because the Ferrothorn, I don't think he's even going to go down in one max Flare. The Togekiss will go down in one max Lightning. And then I will just... Brave Bird the Ferrothorn slot. Because I don't think, I think the Tog, does Togekiss have speed Corviknight? I actually don't know. Because obviously if Corviknight outspeeds Togekiss, I could have just Iron Head the Togekiss and then Max Flare to the Ferrothorn. But regardless, I don't know for sure, so I'm just going to play the safe game. I don't know much about speed differences there. So we're good here. Let's see who goes first. I just really want to think Togekiss goes first. So now he's going to Dynamax the Ferrothorn. The Ferrothorn. Okay, so he was just getting Leech Seed set up so he could Dynamax and just stay alive for as, like, for as long as possible. That's a fair move. That's a fair play there. Togekiss, you're going down. I don't want you... I don't, even, I don't know if you go before my Corviknight or not, so I just want to make sure you go down. So there we go. Playing that safe. Now it's down to, what are we, uh, 3v1 right here? Yeah. 3v1 and we have a Dynamax Rotom Heat. So we're doing pretty good. Now I'm just going to keep Iron Heading the Ferrothorn just to try to get it to flinch. Although, actually, I don't think it can flinch in Dynamax mode. So I will not do that in right now. Yeah, that does nothing. Although you are raising your defense, but my Rotom Heat is a special defense. So... What I will now do is I'm just going to 
What do I do here? I mean, obviously I'm going to win this one. Do I just bulk up on the Corviknight? Just so if my Rotom Heat does go down, then my my thing will be super bulked up. But he's just going to keep Max Steel Spiking, right? So actually, I'm going to switch out. That's what I'll do. I'm going to Rotom, Max Flare, and then I'm going to switch out Corviknight so he loses his Elite Seed. That's what I'll do. Because there's no way he goes for a max over. Okay, he canceled. There we go. Got to win. So this is, uh, I think, actually my first time doing two two games in one. That person who I just fought against, I honestly don't know what they were doing in rank nine. Because everyone else I fight up here, I always say up here, even though I'm not even that high, destroys me. So that was a fun game, though. So thank you guys for stopping by. I'm going to end the video here. And once again, if I remember to, I'll have the rental code on the bottom of the screen if i remember to hopefully i will but we'll find out see you guys later